exercises and stuff. These guys just stand there all day long, all night. Just stand, yeah. same dance. People go by and beep, and they yell at them. I'm gonna run them down. You know, I get it from my family. People come past, and they go real fast. I'm gonna run them down. What's, what's that gonna do? Then you kill them. You go to jail, and they go to the hospital. And you still gotta pay for them. And then you get out of jail and get out of the hospital, and they're still out they're there. They're still out there on their crutches. See, look. They already yeah. knocked over a tree once. They're throwing bottles out there already. No, they don't care. It's not a place for, for teenagers to be if they're, if they're weak. As a red zone, a spot where, you know, drug dealing is going on, drinking is going on, fighting, things of that nature. When we go out there, it's just to have a good time, just to chill with your boys or whatever and talk. It's no, it's no pressure out there, I don't think. As I said, not necessarily to drink and to, you know, raise hell. Have water gun fights or balloon fights or whatever. Just have a good time without drinking and drugging. Just to, to be around and to, to have something to do, so to speak. Well, from hanging out on the, on the crossroads, it, brought, it took me to prison, and it just messed my life up. This place is called the Crossroads. It's right in the center of the reservation, and, and it is an actual crossroads. And the ironic thing is that the, uh, the, the people who hang out there uh, seem to be at the crossroads in their life. My name is Wayon Smith. Xavier Eliza. I am 16 years old. 23. I am in 11th grade. Four years. Armed robbery. It's a place where you come to a crossroads in your life and you have to make a decision of which way to go. Do I think that I'm still on the crossroads? Or I'm still in a crossroads? I do. Why? I do because life's challenging, and it's, uh, it's very frightening. And so it makes me strive and struggle every day to try and raise my kids the best that I can. And that's hard when you work. You gotta go to work, I gotta come home, I gotta clean, yeah. I gotta cook. Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that they eat right, mm -hmm. so that they're healthy. I wanna make sure their homework's done. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I know who their friends are, mm -hmm. where they're going, if they can go. As, um, as a mother and a child that's a man-child that's also going to be a prime candidate for risk in our mm -hmm. whole world, I feel like um, I have to look at that. And I can't be afraid of it. And I can't be afraid to talk about those issues, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think in our community, a lot of times, those issues are issues that no one really, really wants to talk about because it's scary. Because mm -hmm. then we have to look at some real problems that exist. There is a certain amount of anything that would be available to kids out here if they wanted to get hold of whatever they wanted, you know. Uh, and that to me, I feel there's a sense, there is a real sense of danger. And I feel that for the kids out here because uh, I went through a lot of the same thing when I was their age. I had, I had alcohol in the household you know, when I was growing up. It didn't take a hold of me uh, as the way it does some people, but it, it was a steady thing. It became to the point where it was up to me. No one else was going to help me get myself out of it. Uh, and if I didn't, I was going to be very sick. It was really fun in the beginning. But then it never ended. Mm -hmm. And that was scary for me. It was scary because it was like, you know, then I would see people get beat up and I would see people get drunk and best friends fight each other and hurt each other really bad. And I would see um, sisters fighting. And then my friends were getting pregnant, my girlfriends that were like um, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And they weren't ready to be moms, you know, mm -hmm. yet. They were still little kids like me. Mm -hmm. And we were just experiencing what we thought was fun. Mm -hmm. But what we thought was fun became a dead nice ends. Shot. Became dead ends mm -hmm. and really a lot of sadness for my friends. And I remember um, I told my mom, 
I said, Mom, I want to go. I want to get out of here. I want to leave. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to leave, but I remember that feeling of feeling totally hopeless mm -hmm. that I was going to end up like all my friends stuck. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want that. So how'd you get out of there? I ran away. I ran away for good. Some kids are afraid to go through the crossroads, especially when it's really crowded and everybody's hanging out. You know, I know some kids that will go around and cut through a field. A place where people with extremely low self-esteem hang out. People who have few options because they have little education. Because they think very little of themselves. That's the most they think they can do. That's the best they think they become. Ask them how do they feel about standing on the crossroads throwing their beer bottles and their crack vials and their selling their drugs and doing all that stuff. Ask them how they feel. And how they're gonna feel five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now. Well, are they gonna are they gonna wanna be like one adult that we know that stands on the corner who's almost sixty years old? The guys who hang out there says, you know, why do you put us down like that? You know, we're young. You know, we want things to do. It's just somewhere that we go. You know, if you don't want us out there, give us a place to go. I mainly stay in the house till like 2.30, 3 o'clock. Then I either go to Tony's house or to Justin's house and just hang out there. Or oh, we have a campsite we go to. We hang out there a lot. That's where age is from. 13 to about 17, that's where we go. That's where we just chill, I guess. Gene Cuffey um, asked me to come down to the community center uh, Saturday night, and I came down there, and that's when I was brought into the um, Warrior Society. This society is for young men fighting against alcohol, fighting against drugs, fighting against abuse of, of your body. You know, they, um, they reach out to those who are in trouble, to those who are, are stuck on the crossroads. They reach out and, and they give them a direction to go. The singing and dancing is, is great. Uh, I, I wish that it was something I'd grown up with because it would have instilled in me a lot more self-confidence, a lot more self-esteem. I see, I saw those young men um, the other night, and I saw how they shook everyone's hands. They set up the center. They cleaned it up after everyone was finished. They sang. Mm -hmm. They were respectful. They were quiet for a long, for a long time. That took discipline, mm -hmm. and it was positive, and they were into it. And I think they felt really good about themselves. I made me feel really, really proud of them. What are we gonna do with the kids on the crossroads? We're gonna love them. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee.